in the first meeting all time between Pitt and Sacred Heart. And we're underway from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So look for Pitt to really try to play inside out here today. Nike Sabandi off the mark. Henson right there with the follow. Tip once, tip twice by Federico Federico. And then it's Blake Henson who cleans it up down low. And Sacred Heart, a team that will switch almost exclusively everything on the offensive end that Pitt will throw at him, whether it's on the ball or off the ball. By the Pioneers as Federico throws one up, missed it off to the right. The rebound controlled by Johnson. Rebounding another key in this game for Sacred Heart, without a doubt, as Solomon launches and scores for Coach Capel. Elliott leans in and won. Greg Elliott, who had a sensational game, and the foul. And a great job by Pitt attacking the 1-2-2 two, two full court pressure from Sacred Heart. Greg Elliott, the one spot you got to get the ball to against any full court pressure is the middle. Great shot fake. Didn't settle for the free throw line jump shot. Really, really likes this team, the way they've bought in. Again, we mentioned it earlier in the open. A lot of experienced players, but a lot of new players playing together for the first time as we see a great move there by Aiden Carpenter. Hey, you got guys, Nike Sabandi coming off an ACL, John Hughley coming off a knee injury. I mean, you've got, you got guys that have never played together that haven't had a chance to practice together, and you throw them out there on the court and just say, hey, let's you know try to figure this out. And In fact, the starting lineup for Pitt, all five today transfers. And a steal. Aiden Carpenter on the move again and lays it in. So this is a team in Pitt who hits eight threes a game. They've shot it well to start the season, but in a game like this, if you're not hitting them, that could be a problem. And a three here hit by Dominic Mello. Especially one that you spent time going over today and shoot around, which Pitt did. But a great job there by Sacred Heart with the execution. Hughley, double team, rolls and throws it down. Mello stuck, gets rid of it into the lane. Solomon. Pull up Jay from the elbow. Got it, plus the foul. And number one rule in defense, never foul a jump shooter. But Raheem Solomon and the Sacred Heart Pioneers hanging around here early on in pit. Shot clock to five for Sabandi. Missed it. Ball tipped back outside. The race won by Solomon. Solomon, pull up from the foul line. Got it. And a lead for the Pioneers. Yeah, no question, especially that last four-minute segment before the last media timeout. Just did a great job as you see Pitt finally getting a perimeter jump shot to fall. Their length was on display and around the rim. Got a clean defensive rebound. See if they can spur themselves into a little bit of an offensive rhythm here. Cummings with a feed down low. Federico with the bucket. Sacred Heart going to continue to stay with this zone until Pitt can prove that they can consistently hit outside jump shots. The feed. Federico and the jam. That's the thing. You miss an entire season of basketball. It's going to take you a while to get your legs back. Mello shooting with confidence. He just no looked that before it even went in. It looked he, like he was running down the other way. He 100% did. <laughs> that was uh, Steph Curry-esque corner three. There's the answer by Greg Elliott. Good defense there by Diaz Graham. Gallette battling along the baseline. Nearly turned it over. Espinal Guzman at the rim, banks it in. Gallette. Whips a pass down low to Johnson, back outside. Riley three, got it. it. Looked pretty good coming out of his hand, and a great pass there to the corner. And Joey Riley with such a quick release, you got to be there on the catch. Cummings right back to it. He's got a three. A great job there by Nelly Cummings saving that ball. Fifth turnover committed by Sacred Heart. Going glass is Blake Henson. Last couple four-minute segments like Anthony Latina talked about during the shoot-around today. They've won the last couple, and it's why they're only down one. Carpenter trying to get a step. Carpenter flips it up with the right hand and in. 2.06 left with Henson in the lane. Henson tried to power through two. Could not, but Federico, he throws it down. To extend the pit lead to 36-33. Extending the lead out to five at 38-33. Solomon for three. Raheem Solomon, three more. Carpenter behind the back dribble. Beautifully done. His layup is no good, though. Loose. Taken away by Henson. Sabandi, two on one. Sabandi all the way up and in. Count it plus the foul. Dominic Mello closed out late. Five-point advantage as we start half two. Riley cuts to the rim and lays it in.
Elliott trying to spin off. Goes glass and puts it in. Yeah, tough finish there by Greg Elliott. Swoops in for the rebound off the miss by Carpenter. Kept alive for Gallette. Gallette trying to create some space. Johnson, baseline drive and a dunk. I'm going to try to dunk this every time. And a Federico, he just drops it in. Federico, Federico. He got the start today. Sabandi, who also got the start on the drive, lays it up and in. Nike Sabandi with the finish to get the Panthers a seven-point lead. Three Panthers in double figures now in scoring. Outside for Gallette with five. Gallette with four. Underneath the rim, and his scoop layup is good. Nico Gallette. Those his first two of the day. Henson, pump fake, will fire short. Federico, rebound, into Henson. Henson scores. Trying to go underneath. Feeds it outside to Gallette. He'll fire it up from deep and hit. And there you go, David. Starting to feel it, perhaps. That time, able to knock it down with a three-point shot. Again, inside-to-out basketball. Sacred Heart giving Pitt a little taste of their own medicine. Elliott, catch and shoot three. Connects. Greg Elliott hits the three-pointer. Now Solomon, the only player in double figures for Sacred Heart. And Gallette drills a top of the arc three, the lead down to four. See that one layup go in, able to hit a three before break. Now another one, now gets the turnover. Chance to get out on the break for the Pioneers. Solomon, wild layup attempt, but Gallette swoops in. Hold down the fort admirably, down by two. Henson, underneath and scoring. In the lane, and Blake Henson is just so skilled and so good in there. Such great touch around the rim. He averages 16 per game this season. He's got 14 now, and a cut to the basket, and a layup for Aiden Carpenter. Great cut, great pass, great finish. Cummings from the corner. Federico rebound. Federico pump fake, got it to go, and the foul. Federico, Federico. For a season high in scoring for him. Corner three by Cummings, that hits. Henson, his layup attempt misses. The putback is no good. Slap back outside, Solomon. Solomon into the lane against Federico and one. Wow. Unable to convert the three-point play right there, but Sacred Heart sticking with this 2-3 zone. Henson's foul line, Jay misses another rebound and another bucket for Federico Federico. The lead at eight for the Panthers. Cummings creating space and hits the three. Nelly Cummings. Amazing what happens with both teams when you see a couple shots fall. You know, Pitt got great looks early in this game as we see Aiden Carpenter there with the answer. But both teams starting to pick it up offensively. How about next Saturday, 2 Eastern on ESPN2. Number one versus number three, Houston versus Virginia. What a special game that could be as Cummings fires away from deep. Feeds it outside to Thomas with five. Thomas fading away. It's an air ball. Hughley with a loose ball. Elliott in the lane. His layup attempt is good. Somehow getting that one to go. Somehow is right. I'm not sure how he even got that shot off, let alone was able to make it over the arms of two outstretched defenders here. But the length for Pittsburgh on the defensive end. And run a Q8 and Carpenter knocks down a three. Carpenter's got 16. This is just his third game of the season after... Missing eight games with an injury as Diaz Graham shows the range from deep. How about that touch? That was impressive. And a steal on the other side. The lob into Henson. Easy layup for Blake Henson. And the Panthers starting to pull away up 17. Under seven minutes left to go. Pitt up by 17. Riley with a steal. Riley down the floor. Lays it up and in with the right hand. Gallette trying to take advantage of a mistake down low. Thomas lays it up and in. Shot clock to six for Nelly Cummings. To the post. Hughley gets blocked by Gallette. Kept alive, and that's going to be a shot clock violation. Cummings. Lobbed into Federico. Federico puts it in. Defensive presence, blocking shots, altering shots, the 10 offensive rebounds, the footwork in the post. He really has been the difference maker for the Panthers in this basketball game. Elliott gets into the lane and scores. 
Cummings. Hits from three. Or check that, it's a two. Seven seconds to shoot for Cummings. Cummings from three, it's good. Nelly Cummings pulling up on a career high. Three assists, also three blocks to add to his team leading best 14 heading into today. Henson from deep, that's good. Sacred Heart gave it a go, but just too many weapons for the Pitt Panthers who will win their seventh game of the season. And they're back on the winning side.